Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your October 9th through October 15th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these cards for you, so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. All three of the decks. Now this may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Cancer. I have created a group on Facebook where I will be doing, and other readers as well, will be doing mini, um, free mini readings. These are not like the ones you see right here. They will be short, quick, and to the point. But if you'd like to join, the link will be below. It's called Spiritual Guidance Live Feeds. And I try to get to everybody, and I do them every single night. This is for the sign of cancer. I think that uh, things are emotional this week, okay, for you, whether you're holding it inside or showing it outwardly. I think it's probably going to be an emotional week for you. And I just feel that before I even started dealing the cards. I am going to zoom this in. You have a lot of major arcana cards here already. All right. Justice is the basis of your reading. That's the, that's the basis of your reading this week. Justice, which is mean doing the means doing the right thing for you, okay? It's also a karma card. So that is the basis of your reading. Um, I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly before I go any further. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so... Um, Justice, the basis of your reading, this tells me that um, it's absolutely time for you to do the right thing for you. You may There may be some legal matters going on this week. This week. Um, you're just going to have to be honest, all right? Make some decisions. Uh, make something final. That's what it appears. Maybe there's going to be some finality. It could have something to do with anything that's legal. Could be a divorce. Could be something else. But... I think that there's a weight or a heaviness that may be lifted, all right? And it may be emotional because of this, whatever it was, it may, be, may cause you to be emotional. It could have to do with a relationship, all right? There could be a relationship that ended and it's, or it's ending and, you know, things are changing and it, it's definitely um, a big deal, okay? And it was karmic, whatever it is. Either way, I have to let you know we have the unknown card here. When the unknown card comes out, that means that something is meant to be, um, you're not meant to know the outcome until it happens, okay? We do have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. We have uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. We have a Libra. Um looks to me like the most prominent sign that we have here is Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, I do see that a lot of you are listening to your inner guide. You're listening to your intuition. And there's a secret that's about to become known. And you probably already know what this secret is. But it may come out. may come out in court. I'm not sure. Because there is for some of you. Like this may or may not resonate for every one of you. But bits and pieces might resonate for you and then bits and pieces might resonate for the other person that's watching this but some of you are going to court and there there looks like there could be a victory but um there's going to it's going to be an emotional victory but anyway let me get back to the the secrets there is some secret about to be revealed okay um, and it has to do with a relationship. So whether you're going to court or not, there's some kind of secret that's about to be revealed. But you already know what this secret is. All right. Some truth is going to come out. All right. Um, we do have uh, wish fulfillment here. So that's good. Everything that's happening this week is leading to your ultimate wish. So do not give up. We, I do see that uh, many of you are false feeling like a victim, okay? You're falsely stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in, you know, and you can free yourself at any time, but you may have not, you may have not taken the steps to do that, okay? We have this Eight of Swords here. That's a false imprisonment feeling like you can't move, like you can't make a stand, like you can't do what you want to do when deep down you can, 
okay? Like I said, this is going to be an emotional week. I think you're going to be fighting with yourself, okay, as to what to do next. I see, I mean, I think that you love with all your heart. I see a lot of love here, a lot. And you may be in love with somebody who isn't fulfilling your wishes, okay? Um, there's somebody could be moving, could be you, could be the other person, could be both of you together, all right? I see that some of you could be moving, um... Or your home could be changing, all right? Somebody could be moving in with you, or somebody could be moving out, or you could be upgrading your home. Something to do with your home, a change in your establishment, okay? Um, you see the tears in her eyes? And I mentioned emotions before I even saw this card. There's a, definitely some emotions this week, big time, big time. And you're just going to have to try to remain grounded as much as possible, okay? And But it's not going to be easy. We have the moon here. I think there's a lot of strong energies going on right now, and they are affecting you in a very big way. You know, the, the energies of this, this full moon are really, really weighing heavily on you. And um, when the moon card comes out, it says that not, all is not as it seems, okay? Like I, the, earlier I mentioned secrets. I think there is a secret that is about to come out. We have the Ace of Swords. That's a truth. Okay, with the high priestess and the moon, there's a secret that's about to come out. And you may not know what it is, but uh, many of you do, okay? Um, the moon is also about fear. So uh, many of you are probably having f a lot of fear this week. Fear of the unknown, feeling fear of what's going to happen next, okay? Um, because I think many of you probably are thinking about or have just started a new journey and we do have a big fear of the unknown but the fool card comes out to tell us that you must you must fly you must take the jump you know fly into the unknown with faith replace the fear with faith okay that's what the fool says jump right into it don't look back go go even if you're scared all right, and I think that's why things are emotional this week for you because I think there's fear and it's, it may be even like an overwhelming of not knowing and I think there might even be some codependency here. Maybe there's a fear of being alone, all right? So I think that there's a lot of unnecessary drama in your life and you just, you, you want to get away from it. That's what it looks like, that there's drama that you want to get away from. We do have the Judgment card right next to that Ace of Swords. The Judgment is also a Karma card. So you have a lot of Karma here with Justice, Judgment and Justice, and Legal. So many of you are going through some legal matters this week, but it's all Karma, okay? It's a, it was a karmic debt that needed to be paid off, all right? So take it as that, that, you know, you will be one lesson learned, one debt paid off, Time to move on to the next one. You can put a little check mark next to the to whatever lesson that was. Um, you're about to have an awakening of some sort, a breakthrough, a major breakthrough. You know, whether it's with the, whatever these legal issues are or with your relationship. You know, I think there's going to be a breakthrough um, that you've been hoping for that may make you uh, move out of this position where you've been feeling stuck. All right, because I think you've been stuck in this position and you've been so scared of perhaps being alone or perhaps not having any support or what the outcome is going to be that you haven't dared to either tell a secret or acknowledge a secret or move forward out of fear. It's been scary, but the fool card says you must. With faith, faith, start over. This is a fresh start. Could be with somebody new. Could be. Here we have the Empress, Three of Wands, King of Swords. This is about expectations. I think that you had higher expectations for somebody and they didn't pan out the way you had hoped. Um, perhaps it was all a lie, you know, it wasn't honest and truthful, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh. We have a lot of air energy here, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius.
could be anybody with a lot of air in their chart, okay? They could be their moon, could be their rising, you know, could be anybody with a lot of air in their chart. Could be anybody taking on this energy. Somebody could be vindictive in your life at this point. Somebody could be jealous. Um, there could be... Um, somebody could be making you feel like a victim, okay? And somebody could be cutting you down, I'm just saying. Somebody could be saying things that are very hurtful, not caring, giving a shit about what you, how you feel or how you felt, okay? Somebody could be moving very quickly, acting impulsively, being very opinionated, and they're really, um, it's really affecting your, your inner beauty, you know, your soul. I think, that, like I said, it's an emotional week. I think many of you are probably overwhelmed with emotions because somebody has really, like, hurt you bad. I see that a lot of you have been very, very hurt. And there could be some, like, cutthroat uh, personalities in your life this week, okay? And somebody did not meet the expectations that you had hoped. And that could be the secret or this um, wake-up call that comes out, okay? The Empress over here says that um, there's, it's a time of rebirth. That's right next to the Fool. It's a time of rebirth for you. It's a time of renewal. Look at it like that. Everything happens for a reason. This truth is coming out. This awakening, this epiphany, this breakthrough is coming out for a reason. Look at it from a different perspective. Look at it from the positive side. You know what? I'm letting this go. I'm no longer going to be a victim to this. I, I can't do it anymore. It has literally broken my soul. It has broken me. And I must move on. Okay? Because you, you, I think many of you need to work on yourself and bring your inner beauty back and do a lot of healing, okay? This is something new on a physical level. Like I said, some of you could be moving or your house could be changing. Somebody could be moving in or moving out. But the Ace of Pentacles is about something new on a physical level, which is tangible. So it could be a partner, but it could be money. It could be a win if you're going to court, okay? If you have legal matters, it definitely could be a win, something successful in your favor. But it's generally something, a gift from above that offers you security and stability. So it's really a blessing. All of this happens for a reason. Okay, it is a blessing in disguise, even though it hurts, whatever it is. And this is success at the bottom of this. This is success. So whatever it is you're going through, you will come out on top. Now I'm going to get you three of these. have this card twice now that's the ten of pentacles this is the moving card you know that when I said I think you guys are gonna be moving it's right here okay this is this is um, your establishment so I think there's going definitely gonna be a change in your home all right seven of wands um, this is the unnecessary drama okay you have this one twice too so you have some double energies and then you have the magician so I think there's some unnecessary drama in your life and it feels like you're fighting a never-ending battle against somebody. But you you can walk away from it at any time, okay, because it's a false imprisonment. As soon as you're ready to, to leave it behind and walk away, you can do it. But it seems like right now you're still engaging in the drama and it's really affecting your heart, okay? The magician, you're ready, you're ready. Okay, with the fool and the magician, you are ready for something new, even if it hurts. And I'm so sorry to tell you that. You have the resources and the tools, you do, to succeed. This is success. All right? So it is a blessing in disguise. All you need to do is take action. And you need to take action by freeing yourself from something that is making you feel trapped. So cancer, that's what I have. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Please feel free to join my group. I will post the link underneath here. And you may be selected for a free reading. Like I do at least 20 people every night. Little mini readings. They're not like this. They're not 30 minutes. It's quick. You might get five minutes of my time. And then we have other readers on there too. So if there's any other readers that are watching this or healers or whatever, 
please feel free to go there and join and share your gifts, okay? We want to grow the group and we want to share our gifts. And if you're just a beginner, you can still share your gifts because that's how you grow. Talk to you later.